Narrated by Annas. The Prophet peace be upon him fasted al whistle on the last days of the month. Some people did the same, and when the news reached the Prophet peace be upon him he said, if the month had been prolonged for me, then I would have fasted whistle for such a long time that the most exaggerating ones among you would have given up their exaggeration. I am not like you, my Lord always makes me eat and drink. Narrated by Abu Huraira. Allah's messenger peace be upon him forbade al-whistle. The people said, to him, but you fast al-whistle, he said, who among you is like me? When I sleep, at night, my Lord makes me eat and drink. But when the people refused to give up al-whistle, he fasted al-whistle along with them for two days and then they saw the crescent, whereupon the Prophet peace be upon him said, if the crescent had not appeared I would have fasted for a longer period, as if he intended to punish them herewith. Narrated by Aisha I asked the Prophet peace be upon him about the wall, outside the Kaaba. Is it regarded as part of the Kaaba? He replied, yes. I said, then why didn't the people include it in the Kaaba? He said, because, your people ran short of money. I asked, then why is its gate so high? He replied, your people did so in order to admit to it whom they would and forbid whom they would. Were your people not still close to the period of ignorance, and were I not afraid that their hearts might deny my action, then surely I would include the wall in the Kaaba and make its gate touch the ground. Narrated by Abu Huraira Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, but for the emigration, I would have been one of the Angsar, and if the people took their way in a valley, or a mountain pass, I would take the Angsar's valley or the mountain pass. Narrated by Abdullah bin Zaid. The Prophet peace be upon him said, but for the emigration, I would have been one of the Angsar, and if the people took their way in a valley, or a mountain pass, I would take Angsar's valley or their mountain pass.